hello everyone good evening so today we'll be seeing a very quick topic uh, called duplicate search and then we'll also see temporary cases uh, so let's start okay so first let's understand what is duplicate search okay so pega provides a duplicate search automation safe okay so uh, yes it it's a automation safe but eventually inside the automation safe we have the flow to find out uh, that duplicate cases okay so what is the definition of duplicate case okay so as uh, you can uh, like understand with the duplicate that like related case or something so let's say if i am creating a case with account number x okay today and then case that case is still open then tomorrow again i am creating with the same account so it's a, like a duplicate case because the previous one is not resolved okay so sometimes we use these features okay in uh, real time applications to determine that if already a, a case created for the same functionality or for the same things then uh, instead of proceeding okay we can, one we can mark as a duplicate mark, uh, and then we can proceed with the one case so that is how we can do so how we determine the duplicate case so there are like some business logics okay usually it, it, obviously you'll have some business logics to determine okay so this is the process flow okay which will tell that you have that a, a duplicate case or not so does an existing so if you see this one does an existing uh, conditions meet uh, does an existing case meet the basic conditions so basic conditions as i, I told that account number should match okay so let's say if you are applying for a loan and then you have already loaned a raise request okay uh, for account x okay and then again you are trying to raise uh, with the same account so then it's like a duplicate so this is a basic conditions is account okay and then few more details like let's say what kind of a loan you are raising okay so from one account you can raise multiple type of loan one so you can raise home loan or you can uh, raise uh, auto loan something like that okay so then further conditions is also required to mark as a duplicate okay so the next condition is does, does the sum meet or exceeds the threshold value okay so if yes we'll we'll see in the code okay how this okay does the sum or meet exceeds the threshold value so threshold value is that uh, let's say we are saying that the total total point so is threshold value is basically here the total point so let's say the total point is meeting 50 then i can go and say this this is a duplicate case so now to meet the 50 points we can add multiple conditions that let's say if the loan type is matching then i can say 10 points okay if the customer something else is matching then say other 10 points so by summing okay those uh, like that much a threshold value or that much points if we are exceeding the threshold value then we say a duplicate case so if it is me a uh, no then such duplicates can ends then yes then it will potential duplicate case are displayed okay and then user can take the actions resolve the current case as a duplicate or ignore and continue the current case so this is that the overall flow let's see that how we can configure in our case type so i have the loan request case type and what you have to do here so i have already added that okay so to add that you can add it directly in the flow or what you have to do click on add on the steps and then click on more and then in automations you will find that a duplicate case so here you can see that search duplicate case okay so you can add this from preview also you can see the flow so this is the same flow which i was uh, we were talking okay uh, from the pdn article so now i'll just simply select okay and then we, here we can add okay so it's pega is complaining that you have already added a duplicate search so i cannot add a second one so i'll just de delete it but you got it from where we can add right and then conditions how we can add the conditions is let me rephrase this so if you see here okay we can add the conditions so this is the basic conditions i was i was talking okay that account number is same okay so account number is same means that for whatever the case i'm creating okay so it will go and with that account number it will search in the database that is there any other cases already exist in the database with the same account so account number is same okay we can edit it also so he, this is how you'll get a conditions potential duplicate so here i'm defining a field you can define any field whatever you have your business field and then comparator so is equal then i can say that value also that account should match to abc account but here i just want to say the same okay same means that whatever the value we have <coughs> sorry in the previous case okay so with that i want to compare and then here that the weighted conditions sum at least so here i'm saying that at least the condition should be 30 points okay if the 30 points is matching then i i will go and say that the con uh, like uh, the case is uh, a duplicate okay so how i'm defining the points so here the weighted conditions you can add so here i'm saying that okay credit score is less than 700 then give me 20 points okay a, a loan amount is less than 5000 then give me 20 points i can add one more condition 
so here both should be true okay to make that 30 okay so i can add one more conditions and that will that i can say 10 number so active case id or country let's say okay uh, country or something let's see credit score already i have added loan amount already added loan rate something should be there which i can enter on the screen so let me see what i can enter on the screen so based on that we can define okay yeah country is there so let me select country so country comparator is equals to and then i'll give the value canada so if this is a country canada then for this one also we'll get 10 points so now if you see from here if this conditions and this one is true then also we say duplicate if this condition and this condition is also uh, true then we'll say duplicate okay so basically we have to bring 30 points so if the whole conditions the observated conditions will bring 30 points then our case will say duplicate and then what will happen so it will display so it has a flow action so flow actions is basically it has a ui where it will display that uh, the duplicate cases and from there we can take action so let's see on the ui So launch the portal i'll try to create a case so i'll give account number let's say three zero seven okay and then loan amount so we have so let's see that loan amount should be less than five thousand okay so i'll give four thousand okay and then credit score i'll i'll this one so i did i made this one as a true okay and, and this one i'll made as a false so i'll give 800 because less than 700 we are checking okay and then country i will give canada okay so for this combinations we don't have any cases so if you see here in the flow after submit request so this we are at a submit request and then after that we are like trying to find out the duplicate cases so if we find out then the system will display the duplicate case and else will move to review offer so let me submit it and see what screen we are getting so see we directly jump to that this one this one because uh, even though the conditions met okay we didn't find any similar cases in the database now we have created 1013 with the same conditions let's create another case with a similar condition so let's say that one of your relative member initiated this loan request with these details and again tomorrow you are also going and initiating the same request then it will say that okay someone has already created with this request number so maybe we can mark one as a duplicate so let me here i'll say 007 and loan amount also loan amount i'll make uh, uh, 4000 so make this one as a true and credit score this one also i'll make it as a false and then country i'll make it as a true so if you see this condition is getting true in this condition so these two conditions will give me canada and this one these conditions will give me 30 points and this is what we need okay to display that as a true okay uh, like so the, the sum will match 30 points so let me click submit see here it's a saying that this is a duplicate case so now we can take an action so okay close this as a duplicate case so maybe we can close 140 as a duplicate case and then we can proceed with 013 because 013 is or has been already created for the similar purpose so we can mark this as a duplicate case or if you want to ignore you say no 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 i want to create a new case and I want to proceed so that also you can do so this is what it was saying in the flow resolve the current case as the duplicate or ignore the continue case ignore the continue and current uh, sorry ignore the ignore and continue the current case so whatever you want so let me for try to close this as duplicate so if i say close this duplicate so then which one so which one we are saying the duplicate so here we are saying that 1013 is duplicate so let's uh, submit it so this got marked as a duplicate now let's see the history in history also we should see something so if you see here <clears throat> we have resolved that case and in this case okay in in the future let's in the future you are going and checking that why it has been resolved duplicates then it's a saying that it's a duplicate of l01 l1013 okay so from here we can easily find out and we can go and check that 1013 case so if we go and see now on this case they can walk and proceed for the loan request so you you're getting it okay that and we use this features in almost all applications maybe we do not use the pega functionality as it is Pegasus, but we build that this functionality okay for duplicate case or for the related request okay because when we initiate any request we want to also see or the users okay whoever is working on this application wants to see that that is there any similar request has been created for the same work okay 
if yes then we can use the same request if not then we can proceed okay so this is it for that uh, duplicate cases so let's again review it okay quickly so we we can configure we can add it using from the automation shape if you go in flow also so if i open this flow from there also you'll find this one so i have already added but where you can find you have to go to automations in automations you'll find such duplicate case and basically it's a flow okay it's a flow and in in flow like pega is trying to get the duplicate cases based on the conditions whatever we are giving and then it, if it is fine then it is showing an assignment so assignment is basically it's showing that list and then it's giving an options to take an actions okay either you want to duplicate or continue okay ignore and continue and then after adding that shape okay from that um, case type only we can add the condition so once we click on that shape we will be able to add the condition so uh, we have a basics we can so let's say if you don't have account number is same then you can add any else also like anything else very basic conditions so this is mandatory so the basic conditions is mandatory and then we can add the weighted conditions based on the weighted conditions if the weighted the sum of the weighted condition is true then it will say the duplicate case okay so this is it and we can configure this from the app studio as well and then the dev studio but you have to do it from that case type okay so this is for it for the duplicate case now let's understand the temporary case okay and the question is why i'm like covering these topics because i was getting some questions from few of the junior because in interview also few of the people will ask these questions okay that do you know this automation shape or do you know temporary case okay okay so let's understand this temporary case so temporary case is now like deprecated in the current version okay if you see in it from 8.6 or 5 only pega has deprecated these features but still many customers uses that okay and maybe uh, you can face this question in interview okay so temporary case is let's say that you, you have a case okay where in initial stage initial stage one in initial stage you're just searching that the details of that case like let's say either you're searching with the accounts or you're searching with the employee okay you have not decided that actually you want to create a case okay so let's say someone complained that okay uh, so i can see some problem in my account so what it will happen okay so your um, you'll call to banks and then banks will search with your account details and then after seeing the details okay uh, seeing the details only you got satisfied that okay you don't want to create a further case okay because he explained that okay what happened to your account so in that case this 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 search part we can make it temporary if we create a case at that moment only okay let's say that you are complaining that my like amount got deducted extra so if i create from the beginning only that case persist persist that case from the beginning only then what will happen we will lose that case id okay so let's say here this loan request okay so the moment i am creating clicking on this loan request we are getting one id okay each time each time we will be getting an id so basically getting an id means it is getting saved to database okay and we are losing one case id so you can say that okay as a junior you can ask the questions that what is the issue okay if i am creating a case okay and now let's say that here only in this screen only i decided that no i don't want this case okay so what will happen you have to resolve cancel this case okay so we have an option so we can resolve this cancel case so you can ask a question is that okay if i am creating so many cases what is the issue it's just going to database the issue is that in lower environment we don't have any issue but in productions pega charges to customers per case okay so as many case as we create we have to pay or the or the business or the customer has to pay to pega so that is where we try to reduce the cost okay and we create only or we save the case only when it is really necessary okay otherwise we can skip it so the, to skip that that is where we use the concept of temporary case okay so we create or we keep the case temporary till that moment okay when we have really decided that yes we want to go ahead for this case okay so then we can persist that case okay so if you are using a temporary case then we have to use a persist case automation shape so let's see i'll do that so how we can mark that temporary case so to do that we have to open that case type rule so we have to what we have to do we have to go to uh, case type and in case types in actions drop down we have op options to open so if you click open it will open the rule now here in ad in advanced tab in advanced tab in the bottom you uh, let me see that where is it options okay oh, i've removed it or what 
okay i think in this versions i don't have that options at all okay so looks like pega have removed it in this versions for always but we used to get an options here the temporary case and if we're uh, the locking and if we're creating a temporary case then in the flow let's say that if i mark this case as a temporary then somewhere the point where we're deciding that now i want to persist that case so then we have to add this shape okay so if you go to automations persist case so persist case is basically what it does is okay it will then at that moment okay that point okay that now we are deciding that we want to case, create a case we can use this shape so what this shape will do it will generate that case id and then save your case data to pega database table so in that case what will happen our case is saved okay and then like the case id and everything will get created so if you have marked this case as a temporary somewhere okay at some point of time where you have decided that i need to persist that case then you need to use this persist case okay let me see this temporary case i think pega have removed it but if you read here also yes we have to use uh, temporary case are only stored in memory so as i'm saying in memory on the clipboard not in the pega platform database temporary cases does not have a case id so it will not have the case id because why because it will not save into database okay and then pick we have few uh, activity like generate id and other things so that get skipped okay if you are using temporary case temporary cases used to save and store and improve system performance for example approximately 24 hour after placing an online order customer can track the order by status using the order number the tracking is cases created and resolved as a temporary case that is not stored in pega platform database so there are like multiple ways or the multiple reasons where we are creating the temporary case as i mentioned one of them is that okay you are just searching an account details and then after that you decided no i don't you don't want to go for this complaint or for this case okay so then you can skip it but after creating a temporary case you need to persist that case and that is where you can see that okay you need to persist that case so here you can see that address enter change of address address matches no then persist case if if yes then close the case like you don't need that to create a new case right so that is the temporary temporary case and then after creating temporary case you have to persist okay i'm trying to see that options like why pega have removed it process in the previous versions like 8.6 i have seen that it's there but uh, that options is saying dem deprecated so see the py temporary object equals to false then exit activity if not then we are going and then saving the data let me check this one yeah looks like somehow this has been removed okay but if you are working in let's say older version then you'll find this options definitely okay and where you'll find you'll find in uh, uh, advanced and that in the bottom so that's it for today's session. So if you have any questions on these two uh, automation shapes, let me know and then uh, I can explain more in detail. So thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day.